Hello. Lovely to see you again. How's your week been? Okay. Alright. I'll ask you about your injury in a moment. Okay, just make yourself comfy. Right, let's go and see your record and the time is. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Thank you for being on time. I much appreciate it. been doing your strengthening exercises for me. Good, okay. And how are you finding them? Right, it's okay, they're quite simple. Mm -hmm. um, when are you doing them during the day? How often? always best rather than doing them all at once and just take little breaks off work or from whatever you're doing and a couple of minutes here and there all right it soon adds up good well done okay and how many times a day do you think you're doing Good. So we're all sorted there. And um, can you tell me this week on a scale from one to ten, how is the pain? Okay. And is it in the same place? It travelled at all. Okay. Yes, last week um, you told me about a four. Okay. Any more or less? Are you still using the heat pad I gave you? Good. And are you finding it useful? That's great. It is comfortable, isn't it? I know. It's quite nice to wear. Well, why don't we... Okay. Why don't we pop on... The heat pad that we keep here and you can be enjoying that for a few minutes while we get along with the session and um, just like last week we had a little massage I'm going to do that again um, so I'll take it off before that Actually, this one is very slightly different to the one I gave to you, different colour. It has a slightly different um, mechanism to change the temperature. I think we'll just have it on the lowest today. Nothing too warm. And it's quite warm in here too, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So. so 
So rather than just going along the back, this one folds right over your shoulders like this. It has a nice soft collar as well. It's really comfortable and cosy. And the heat is all around the back. And there are elements also in the front. So it's like a lovely wall. So I'll put this on for you now. So make sure you're sitting up straight. Keep your posture but comfortably in the chair. And then when I place it around your shoulders, it will fit nicely. nicely. It looks very cosy too. Nice and comfortable. Is it warming up now? Mm. Yes. It doesn't take very long, does it? Okay. If you prefer this one, you can always take this one back with you if you want to. Okay. As I said, the control is just by your side and if you want it off or further up, you can do that. through the exercises now. Of course you know most of these but I'm going to give you another one as well. Alright and then as I said we'll do the massage too. I'll need these in a moment. sessions. I spend quite a lot of time in this room and a scented candle is really nice. be nice and calm throughout the day.
Okay. You can watch it. So, let's do the resistance on the forehead, like we discussed. You've been doing this one, haven't you? But don't forget your chin tuck. So let's crank the posture. That's it. Make sure you're nice and straight. Okay. And then chin tuck and Press towards your hand, okay? And add a little resistance towards your head. And this way you'll be strengthening your neck, okay? So we'll do that for the count of six, okay? So a nice relaxing breath in and slow release out and then six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And the side a little resistance, not too much. You don't want to be pushing your head across, just meet and hold and push against your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Backwards or forwards, whichever you like. Let's go backwards. Ready? And six, five, four, three, two. Which do you prefer? Counting forwards or backwards? I think backwards is more relaxing, do you think? Let's do one more on the head. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. easy to forget the chin tuck, but it does help to straighten the spine. When your spine is straight, your muscles are in line, your nervous system is in line, and everything's flowing nicely. And that includes, most importantly, the oxygen in your body, because it's the oxygen so chin tuck, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Excellent. Well done. and often remember. Okay. So, 
the next exercise I'd like you to add to your little routine is do you have any weights at home? Nothing heavy, just little hand weights or perhaps the weights you pop around your wrists. Okay, you can even use a tin of beans or a tin of something. Okay, so I want you to hold your weight, let's use this, or your tin, and hold it in your hand. Chin tuck and straight and simply lift. So you can do it both shoulders at a time or you can do one at a time but just make sure that you're comfortable that it doesn't cause any more pain and make sure that everything is even so the equal amount on both sides if you're doing them separately okay, if you're doing them together Let's do it once. Okay. Just go steady and do as much or as little as you feel. Just go with how you feel on this, but little and often throughout the day. Okay. So we've added the shoulder. So we can add more next time. I just want to keep an eye and see how you're getting on with those. All right. So you have the main neck strengthening exercises, and here is just to support uh, the neck there. All right. Remember, nice deep breaths as you're doing it too. Oxygenate. This will give me a good indication as well of how you're getting on. Last week we had a little bit of tension in the most most affected area. So I'll be able to see if there's any progress there. to your healing which is very important so just take off the I'll come round and um, take this off and then we'll start with the massage okay.
back on the shelf. going to massage the top of your neck and your shoulders and concentrate on the area that is causing you the most pain. I will look at the area that I worked on last week as well. See where we are. a bit out of tension in that area, but it's actually less than last week, so you're doing really well. Just going to really work it for you, and I think the more we do that, the quicker you will recover.
I'm just going to quite firmly now work on that one particular muscle down your shoulder. Okay, so tell me if um, it's too hard or if you can manage anything harder, just say. that muscle for you. It's very common to have tightness for weeks and weeks after, so nothing to worry about at all. You're doing really, really well. How does that feel? Okay. So it's common to feel effects of the massage for a short while afterwards. Um, if you feel so, you have any pain that um, you're not used to, just rest it off a little break from your exercises and then um, just get back to them when you're ready, okay? If you just continue to do those exercises and um, keep an eye on where the pain is, if there is any at all, mainly focus on your healing, which is really important. That's our main goal here. So more focus on the goal for the future rather than um, how it's feeling or any negative aspects of it. Uh, 
which actually helps quite a lot. So be mindful of how you're feeling, but always know it's going to heal and it won't take very long. So let's have the next one in two weeks time then. In the meantime, if there's anything you need to speak with me about, that's fine. So just let me know. But other than that, carry on with the exercises. And if I say if you feel anything extra after the massage, then just take a little break. That's okay. So the next one... the same time okay? Alright, so exactly two weeks. Alright, the same time. Okay, I'll just write this down. For you. I'll pop it there for you. Um, while you get yourself ready. Okay. It's been really good to see you again, and I can tell that you're doing really well. How are you feeling? Um, let's say, how's your mental health? And have you been referred for any appointments? Good. Okay. Well, I'm really pleased with your progress. And I don't think you'll need that many sessions. I think you'll be right as rain in no time. Hmm. Not that I don't want to keep seeing you or anything. <laughs> But I do enjoy when I'm able to help. Alright then. Okay, so you're booked in. And you will receive a text message just before the appointment. Um, but you have it written down as well. Okay, just in case. Alright. So, I'll see you again very soon. And don't forget, you can get in touch time if there's anything you think about in the meantime. All right. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay. Right, that's all right. You just um that's it. Yeah, just um, get yourself up and up and go.